A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? Once you start getting a few tips or a few leads or a few identifications, then the cold case isn't so cold anymore. This is Murder 101. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It's Kate and Oliver Hudson, <laughs> host of the new podcast, Sibling, Sibling Revelry. Revelry. That's right. We started this show because, you know what? No one talks about siblings and that dynamic. The siblings, they know each other better than anybody. Yes. You know. Listen to Sibling Revelry on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. In the new Amy and TJ podcast, news anchors Amy Robach and TJ Holmes explore everything from current events to pop culture in a way that's informative, entertaining, and authentically groundbreaking. Join them as they share their voices for the first time since making their own headlines. This is the first time that we actually get to say what happened and where we are today. Listen to the Amy and TJ podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Lila is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater, and she thinks that her boyfriend of three years named Corey might be messing around on her. So we're about to see if we can help her out and find out if he is. Hopefully he isn't. But Lila, tell us what's going on. Why do you think Corey might be cheating? Yeah, so um, Corey and I have been together for about three years, um, and it's it, we have a really close relationship, so I, I just want to say that. Like, I've never worried about him cheating before, but um, anyway, so we, we go out to the clubs, you know, all the time together, and sometimes we go on our own or, like, with friends, like, if somebody, which is totally fine, because, like, sometimes you just want to stay in, in the house. So sometimes we go out together, and sometimes we go out separately. Okay. Um. Yeah, so so um, our friend Lindsay, she knows both of us really well. She was out one night, um, and Corey went out that night too, but I stayed home. And Lindsay took a bunch of photos um, and posted them on Insta, and I was just, like, looking through them. Um, and there's, I saw a photo that worried me. So there's a, there's a photo of the DJ, um, and he's, like, in the spotlight, so you, you can see him, and there's all these people around him. There's, like, a VIP booth. So, like, because of the spotlight, you can't really, you can see there's a lot of people, but you can't see the people's faces. Um, but I could see the bodies in the booth, and I could see that there was a girl in the booth sitting on a guy's lap in the booth. Okay. Yeah, so so I can't see their faces, but I could see the guy's shoes, like the guy that she's in the lap of. I could see his shoes. Mm-hmm. Um. And I got Corey like really expensive custom made Nikes. Like you can make Nikes and um, they're purple and they're green and they're like one of a kind. Like I made them like online, like especially for him. So I think, I don't think there's any way that anybody else could have those Nikes. You know, when you see your man's feet for him. Yeah. Yeah, You know, when you see your man's feet, period. (laughs) Shoes are, you know. Yeah. So I can't see the faces of anybody, but I can see the shoes. But I, I, I feel like I can't like a hundred, hundred percent tell if it's Corey or not. So, so that's why I called you. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Have you said anything to him or? No, and I'm not like like you said. Like we have a really good relationship, so I'm not like scared to talk to him about it. But I, I, I really don't want to accuse him of something because it might be innocent it might be it might i might be wrong like maybe i'm looking at it wrong um so yeah so i'm not i'm not afraid but i haven't said anything to him yet mm. i mean that's kind of true though there could have been like a drunk girl just sitting on his lap that he wasn't like excited about he was just fine being a a cushion a lap <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe maybe he was just a lap maybe he was just a seat and it wasn't anything you know yeah but you could also just mm-hmm. i don't want to say push her off yeah say, i mean hey. he could he could, and he probably should have if that was the case. Would but. you be okay with that if that was the case? If somebody was sitting in his lap, but it was like she was just hammered and, you know, just jumped on his lap, basically? I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess the picture only shows you, like, in the moment, so you don't know what happened before or after that. But it's still, like, she's in. she is in his lap, like, mm, fully in his okay. lap, you know? And it's hard because I can't see their faces, so I don't know if he's, like, whoa, like, this is bad or if he's really into it. So, right. I mean, I guess he would have to... He'd have to say it. He'd have to say, tell me what 
what was going on before and after that photo. But it, it doesn't make me feel good, honestly. It makes me feel not great. And you trust him? Or are there other reasons that you might think that he would do that? No, I trust him. I mean, you know, we have a really good relationship. And when we go out to the club, it's, you know, it's just him and me together. So I feel like, you know, I wasn't there that, that night. So I have to kind of like, and like I said, like we go to the clubs alone without each other all the time. And I, I trust him every time, but it's like, I don't get photos the next day that make me question that trust. So, right. so I, I, I bet I care about him a lot, a lot. And like, we have a really good relationship. So I'm just hoping it was like a mistake or like you said, like something just happened in the moment and it just happened to be in the photo. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, you told us what grocery store he's a rewards card member at. So we will call up, pretend to be from the grocery store and tell him that every single month we choose one lucky rewards card member who gets free flowers delivered to anybody that they want. And we'll see if he sends those flowers to you or to somebody else. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll play a song, come back and get your to catch a teeter next. From the studio who brought you the number one podcast, The Piketon Massacre. This is Murder 101. A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. Those murders happened in the mid-1980s. He's out there doing stuff. He just didn't stop. Everything that the students predicted through their profile turned out to be accurate. Redhead killer profile. Male, Caucasian, 5'9 to 6'2, 180 to 270 pounds. Unstable home, absent father and a domineering mother. Right handed, IQ above 100, most likely heterosexual. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. Just because some of these women no longer have people to speak for them does not mean that they deserve to not be spoken for. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? I said, Are you going to kill me? And he said, Yes. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Discover the heartwarming and hilarious world of sibling connections on Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson. You might be asking yourself, what is sibling revelry? Yeah, well, we just made it up. They'll have some laughs and maybe inspire some people along the way with universal tales of what it's like to grow up with brothers and sisters. We're full blood siblings, the only full blood siblings in our family well not in the world i mean no in the whole world (laughs) this is it like no one dive into family tales and explore the human mind with guests like joel and benji madden and it's fun because we've decided to open it up you know to really like all kinds of different siblings and it's going to be an awesome season it's more than a podcast it's a celebration of the ties that bind us Listen to Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Shannon Doherty, host of the new podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. You may know me from, let's see, 90210, Charmed, Mallrats, Heathers. You probably also know me from my stage four cancer diagnosis and sharing that journey with so many of you. There's something so authentic about a podcast. It's me connecting, me talking raw in the moment. That's what my goal is to give you, to talk about why I feel that cancer to a certain extent is a gift, what my responsibilities are as a person with cancer. Because I think that there's something so much bigger than me. And to be honest, I'm still trying to find out what that is. And maybe together we'll find it. It's gonna be a wild ride. So I hope that you all tune in. Listen to Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Right in the middle of To Catch a Cheater, if you're just joining us, Lila is on the phone, and she thinks that her boyfriend of three years, Corey, might have cheated on her. So we're about to see... So we're about to call him and pretend to be from the grocery store that he's a rewards card member at and say that he's the lucky winner of 36 long stem red roses to be delivered anywhere in the entire country. And we'll see if he sends those flowers to Lila or to somebody else. But before we do that, Lila, why don't you refresh everybody's memory about your situation? Yeah. So my, my good friend posted some pictures from the club um, a little bit ago and there was a picture of a, a girl in a guy's lap. And I could tell that the guy is has shoes that <laughs> there are Corey's shoes. They're like one of a kind custom shoes. So I think somebody was in his lap and I don't know for how long and I don't know the situation, but I want to see if he's going to send me flowers or if he's going to send them to this like mystery woman in his lap. 
Okay, and if he d- if he sends you flowers, are you still going to ask him about that picture? Yeah, I mean, I want to know. I just want to like, I want to know the situation, what was going on. I mean, maybe she tripped and fell into his lap, or maybe she's been there for a long time. So I yeah. I want to I want to hear what he has to say mm-hmm. about okay. about that photo. Yeah. Cool. Okay, here we go. Hi, this is Gorbel calling from I was looking for our rewards card member named Corey Oh yeah, that's me Hi, Corey, please don't hang up This is not a marketing phone call I'm actually calling to say thank you very much for shopping with us You're this month's big winner, congratulations Did I leave my card there or something? It's so funny because I uh, I won a scratch off this morning So I'm too, I'm too prepared to Oh wow, double win day I guess for you um, yeah. I don't know about you leaving a card here But have you seen the promotion that we're doing? Every single month, we choose one rewards card member at random to say thank you very much for being such a loyal customer. We're doing flower delivery now, and you just won 36 long stem red roses, a box of chocolates, and a card to be delivered anywhere in the United States, absolutely free from our floral department. That's cool, man. Thanks. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm a big rewards I'm a big rewards guy. Big rewards guy. And which probably helped you win the flowers. Um, cool. All right. Well, uh, all right. So I will... Uh, I can send them anywhere? Yes, and here's how it it works. If you know the person you want to send them to right now and you have all the info, I can take it down in just a matter of minutes. Yeah, I know know who I should send them to. I know. Perfect. First, I would just need the first and the last name of the person you want to send the flowers to. Okay, first name is Lila, L-I-L-A. Gotcha there. Okay. Would you like to put anything on a card? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um... Say this, okay, I got it. Um, say, you said the rewards thing was a total waste of time. <laughs> Three flowers, <laughs> period, put a period there. Okay. <laughs> and you, you can have that ha-ha if you want. Okay. And then <laughs> free flowers and free candy, sucka, and like spell out the sucka like uh, with a lot of T's and K's and A's. She's giving you a hard yeah. time about the reward stuff, huh? Oh my God, you don't even know. Is that, is this your wife or? It's my girlfriend, but but like I have a rewards card for like my rewards cards, so I'm like a big reward. <laughs> oh, you're card a big guy. rewards guy. <laughs> That's funny. oh my god, it's like my whole, it's like a religion. How long you guys been together? Sounds like you have got a really fun relationship. Three, like three years now. Oh, three! Congratulations. That's a good amount of time. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, then I'll also let you know this is actually Jubal from the Jubal Show. It's a radio show. I, I, had, I, you know, you're too, you were too friendly for those rewards guys. <laughs> <laughs> the whole show's here, man. I'm Nina. Hi, and I'm Victoria. Yeah. And we do a segment, Corey, on the show called To Catch a Cheater, where if you think your significant other might be messing around, they can have us try to see if you buy that load of crap I was trying to uh-huh. deliver from the grocery store and see if you send flowers to them or to somebody else. So your girlfriend, Lila, is actually on the phone right now. Hi, Corey. What? You, oh, so you think I'm cheating on you. Why would you think that? Why would you think I'm cheating on you and use the radio to do it? So I I don't, I mean, I trust you, but there was this photo. So Lindsay posted all those photos from when you all went out like a week ago. And in that photo, there's a, there's a picture of a girl in your lap. And I could tell because it's your shoes. It's the Nikes that I got for you. So I just, I trust you, but I, I saw this photo. Like there was evidence of a photo and I, Oh, come I just on. wanted to check. I wanted to check. I wanted to feel like I could trust you, I guess is the point. I, I do trust you, but I wanted to make sure that I can. It was kind of dumb. I mean, that that girl was so trashed. She was jumping around the whole night. She was completely wrecking the VIP. She was getting pretty handsy with me. I wasn't handsy in return. Um, and she probably did sit on my lap a bunch of times, actually, but didn't mean anything. Because she was so bombed and blacked out, she was rolling all over everybody. I didn't was, even think was much it, about was it. Was it Valerie? Was it Valerie? Yes, it was Valerie. Yes, she's like sitting on my lap. She's sitting on everybody's lap, by the way. I kept pushing her off my lap gently, setting her aside, trying to make her <laughs> stop doing it. But she kept doing it to everybody. It's like and a dog like, that just won't stop jumping on your lap. You just pick it up and put it back on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah, dude. Worse than that, actually, because at least a dog will listen. <laughs> you know, she wouldn't listen. It was bad, man. No. And so, yeah, she was definitely sitting on my lap. But, like, everyone's lap. She was probably sitting on the DJ's lap at some point. Does that make you feel better? 
I mean, I, I think a little bit. I mean, I, again, I trust you, Corey. And I think, like, we've both been to the club before where, like, people get handsy with both of us. But we're together. You know what I mean? Like, if He's it happens done in the it. club. He's like, done it, actually. She, well, I mean, you, uh, you know yourself that Valerie is not even with you. I mean, she gets, I know. She gets like this. So, like, you shouldn't, you know, this is a, you, you, you got this all twisted. Yeah, I guess it's just that, like, usually when we're at the club together, like, we can kind of monitor the situation. And, like, I can see you, you can see me. So this just, I I did get it confused because I think I, I just saw the photo. I didn't know that you were doing that all night. I couldn't tell that from the photo. So it made me worried. It it felt like a, like a micro cheat. It felt like a little bit of, like, you had sort of betrayed something. Babe, all you got to do is ask me. Just Next time, just ask. I mean... Mm-hmm. You know how I feel about you. You know, you know how serious I am about you. This, you know, and you know yeah. how she is. So, yeah. You know, like, don't you, know, you come to me, please. I do, I do, I do trust you, and I do know how she is, and I, I love you. You know, so I, I'll come to you next time, whether it's a photo or whether we're there or whether it's, <laughs> you know, Valerie or whoever. Like, I'll just, I'll just come talk to you because that's what trust is about. All right, all right, babe. I think you guys opened up an opportunity, though, for communication with all this. You have clubs in the in the mix. You need to communicate a little harder all, every time. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Or maybe just stop going and go, going out with Valerie and her friends. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater. A group of high school students started a project to research a string of unsolved murders. There is no profile of this killer except for the ones the students created. What if this guy's still alive? Like, what if he comes after us? Once you start getting a few tips or a few leads or a few identifications, then the cold case isn't so cold anymore. This is Murder 101. Listen to Murder 101 on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Discover the heartwarming and hilarious world of sibling connections on Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson. Dive into family tales, explore the human mind, and laugh with guests like Joel and Benji Madden. It's more than a podcast. It's a celebration of the ties that bind us. And it's fun because we've decided to open it up to really like all kinds of different siblings. And it's going to be an awesome season. Listen to Sibling Revelry with Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. In the new Amy and TJ podcast, news anchors Amy Robach and TJ Holmes explore everything from current events to pop culture in a way that's informative, entertaining, and authentically groundbreaking. Join them as they share their voices for the first time since making their own headlines. This is the first time that we actually get to say what happened and where we are today. Listen to the Amy and TJ podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.